Associate Needed in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'm here with the awesome Dr. Connie, and she needs dentisting help. One of her amazing associates is moving on for a good reason, and they need to replace all the full contact arts and crafts. That's not what I say dentistry is, Connie. Full contact arts and crafts on people that don't want to be there. We need to replace that in your office. So we're on Dennis Job Connect right now, sharing her position. So welcome to Dennis Job Connect TV. Dr. Connie, share with us a little right. bit about your office, uh, what you're looking for, and why you need an associate. Sure. Thank you, Dr. Goodman, for having sure. me. Um, so like I said, it's uh, our, I'll tell you a little bit about our practice. We're a husband and wife team, and we took over the practice from my husband's father's um, about six years ago, and we've grown the practice tremendously. Um, and so basically, I think um, one of the, I, I kind of like to go with like what our practice stands for, which is the five core values that we have. It spells out depth, so dedication, like excellence, positivity, teamwork, and honesty. Um, so what we're looking for is an associate who finds value in those core values as well and just kind of aligns with that um, mentality. Uh, and that. yeah. I love so. acronyms. That's, that's a great ap acronym, DEP. So Thank I you. like to do on these, like pretend I went back to dental school, I did a multi-year GPR and I'm ready to come work for you. So I'm going to play a little bit of the role of that person. So, uh, hey, this sounds like a really great opportunity. What procedures will I be doing most of the time? What, what procedures will make up my day as your associate? Yeah, that's a great question. So we're general practice. Um, so we see everybody from, you know, ages two to 92. Okay. Um, and <laughs> uh, we do everything, a lot of the stuff we do in house. Um, a great thing I think about our practice is that, like I mentioned, teamwork is really big in our practice. So as a new grad coming out or any dentist coming in, you're not going to have to be working for your own patients. Everybody just, we share patients. Now, if there's a case that you want to do, you know, you just let our admin team know. But for the most part, we make sure that all the dentist schedules are full. Um, we do a lot of CEREC, so a lot of CAD CAM printing. Um, yeah. We've got the general wave, the new endo system. Um, we have CBCTs, we do implants, we do pedo. All of us kind of have something that we like. For example, I, I really like seeing kids. So I like, I see a lot of. A lot, I like someone who's so friendly to kids. I would have loved to have you as a dentist. <laughs> and I really, and what I like to point out is dentistry can be a lonely profession, even though when you're surrounded by people. So I think it's really cool that you've created this camaraderie with the dentist there, right? You know, you and your husband, there's mentorship built in. There's, mm -hmm. I mean, my assumption is people can ask you guys questions like, hey, is this thing normal? Or why is this patient so crotchety? You say, that's Susan. She's always crotchety. That's not a real <laughs> Susan. I just made up that name. Because that's what we're doing on practice. We have eight dentists working with us. We have associates, my brother and I, are the owners, and I think that cool. small camaraderie is a lot of fun. So that's going to be doing. Now, I'll play a second. I don't know if you've heard, Dr. Knight, but dental school has gotten quite expensive. So I do want to live my best life as a dentist, but I also need to earn money. So what is the compensation like at your practice? What kind of compensation could I expect? Sure. So... Um... It, you'll get a guaranteed base at the beginning, you know, because um, just to kind of like tide you in, get you signed up for insurances. We are, we do see, have insurances, but we're slowly dropping them actually. So um, that's kind of a plus. And then it's going to be a percentage of collections and that's going to be based on your experience, of course. Cool. Um, we also do 401k and- nice. I will say, I, I usually actually say this to um, anybody that joins on, money really isn't a driving factor. I mean, it, it makes the world go round, but yeah. it's not the number reason, number one reason what holds our practice together. Um, that's why money isn't one of our core values. We want to make sure that you're treating your patients well and ha you have that good work-life balance. Um, I think what a lot of when you come out of school and you've got that debt, like I want to make sure like when you become a part of my family, like I'm going to take care of you. I want to make sure that you are well taken care of, but I'm not going to like push your schedule and run you into the ground and then you burn out. I would say that's more common and maybe a DSO option. You know, every DSO is different, but um, that might be a more common scenario, but I'm really looking for more of a long lasting relationship, something that's not just, I'm not just going to use you and abuse you. I really want to make sure that 
you're gaining the skills to become the best dentist that you can be. So, and that honestly is work-life balance, you know, making, yeah, making sure that you spend time with your family, um, making sure that you spend time on yourself. That is something that is probably pretty key to, um, to us. And you guys have two locations and um, how many dentists are on your team total right now? Currently, right now, we have four, four dentists, my husband, myself, and then the two associates that we have. Awesome. And you're, this, this opportunity, which so I do a lot of training, this, you, they're replacing an associate that's moving on for a good reason. So that is a golden opportunity because that means there are these patients who are used to seeing this associate who now need a new dentist. Am I tracking this right in your world? Yes. Yes. Um, we definitely, you know, there, if anything, we'll definitely make sure that that new dentist, you know, they don't feel like a foreign dentist coming in. Like it's going to be, we're going to make sure that our team is well prepared to introduce the new coming doctor so that they feel incorporated into our team quickly. Awesome. I'm going to catch people up. I'm talking with Dr. Connie from Dennis Job Connect on our DennisJobConnect.com platform. And they have an awesome associate position available in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Text Fort Wayne to 215-798-9897 to learn more or visit DennisJobConnect.com. Now, Connie, I asked this to Dennis. Dentists are people too. We're people, even though not our, our patients don't always believe that. So we deserve to have fun. So let's say someone moves here to your area from Philadelphia. They work with you. They enjoy everything, but they want to do stuff on the weekends or at night or with new friends. What are some fun things to do in Fort Wayne, Indiana? Okay, great. Um, the nice thing about Fort Wayne, so I actually, I'm, I'm from Fort Wayne. And when I was younger, I never thought I would move back. I thought, you know, podunk town in Indiana, uh -huh. like, no. No way I'm coming back. But honestly, since when I grew up to where Indian Fort Wayne is now, it's the second biggest city in Indiana and it is constantly growing. There's wineries. There's actually a new winery that I think there's like three wineries. Some of the fun things that my husband and I like to do, for example, is we love to bike on the country roads to the winery so we don't have to drive. And then oh, nice. like this is also pre-kids, pre-kids. Yeah. But um, and then we bike back. Um, there's a ton of great, they're building a new trail. Um, the Puffer Belly Trail that goes right along and it connects from like the north part of Peyton Park all the way down to downtown. Downtown has an, a ton of options, a lot of farm to um, table restaurants, new restaurants, lots of wine dinners, lots of pop ups. Um, one of my favorite bars is J.K. O'Donnell's. It's like an Irish pub that's Irish oh, name. So um yeah, there, there are definitely a lot of things to do in Fort Wayne. I think it's kind of a hidden gem. I was actually just talking to a dentist um, this afternoon and they're like, you know, I moved here from California and people think like, oh, Cal they moved to California for the weather. But when you actually have to live there, like you don't get to enjoy and experience everything. And he's like, and then I came to Fort Wayne and I was like, why don't more people know about this place? Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're broadcasting it to our whole nacho world right now. And this is what yeah. you're sharing. And I love how your face lights up when you talk about bars and restaurants and trails, because I think dentists forget that it's really important, especially new ones, that you develop a life inside and outside of the operatory. And I right. think that I really, I really admire you for having in your core, core values, spending time with your family, your friends. It's a career that we have that can, you can easily go from passion to obsession. And that causes all kinds of problems for dentists. So I think that you've said every, whether it's the flexible work schedule, the mentorship, I want to ask you before, what's the internal study clubs look like that you have? Yeah, that's a that's a great question. So we just started this. And um, like I said, teamwork, really important that our dentists are on the same page together. So what we do is the last Wednesday of the month, we sit down together, we pay for dinner, and we will do like a study club opportunity. So right now we're doing the BARD courses on crown lace. And we're watching the videos together, kind of talking through like, you know, case selection and what we'd be doing. The next topic that we want to be doing is like occlusion. I mean, the CE, it's the world is endless, right? And it's it's always fun to, you know, free CE will get you only so far, but like the the CE that you really have to invest in. But we want to make sure that we're investing in our doctors and that they're growing as doctors as well. So that's why we like to do it together as a team. Um, but that's what the internal study clubs are like. And then that's also a good opportunity to say, hey, I had this case you know, what would you do in this situation? Um, we used, we've done that in the past before as well, like treatment planning summits. 
Love that. I love all that. You sound a lot like what we do. Really admire. It's not easy to be a leader and do all of this, but I really admire you because you're creating opportunities for mentorship, morale, and money. I say those are the three M's that matter most to all dentists, but especially associate dentists. So people can text Fort Wayne to 215-543-6454. Thanks so much for sharing with me, Dr. Connie. You're awesome. Thank you for your time.